Deke Sharon here. Happy graduation. I know a lot of you are graduating uh, right now or soon or in a month or whenever. You're probably looking at the summer and thinking, all right, I want to get some gigs for my acapella group. Maybe you've started a professional group and you want to go full time. Maybe you're just going to get a few gigs in the area. Let me tell you, I learned the hard way. I started the House Jacks and we were singing in Fisherman's Wharf between two garbage cans until the cops told us to shut up and move along. So ideally, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. We can find you some good gigs that'll end up happening and make you some money this summer and ideally beyond that. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one, go with what you know. You've got a home city, you've got a home base, you know where the people are, you know where the population congregates. Before you have a following, you need to get that following. So you go to the farmer's markets, you go down to the strip on a Friday night, a Saturday night. You, you, you Basically, you put on a hat, you busk. I mean, it is a time-honored tradition and people love it, particularly if they've had a drink or two because the more they drink, the better you sound. Am I right or am I right? Be prepared to go wherever the people are and you'll start to get a following and print out little business cards. Have, have a sign up because while you're singing, you can't be saying your name. And some people might just be darting by because they've got to get to an appointment or whatever, but they hear you and you're like, we want those guys at our party. Which brings up number two. After you've been doing the, the general community stuff, start trying to play some parties. Get some gigs going at your friend's birthday, your summer barbecue, 4th of July thing. Find those places where people are getting together, where you can do a little bit of a longer set, where you can sing 20 minutes, you can sing 30 minutes, you'll have a captive audience, and you'll start to really dig down and get some true fans. All right, you got those fans, you're starting to pull them in. Next, sporting events. Baseball. Baseball's perfect, because there are like a million baseball games every season. <laughs> okay, maybe not a million, but hundreds, and they're looking for people to do the national anthem and to sing God Bless America, and if it's Boston, Sweet Caroline, whatever. They need people to perform during the seventh inning stretch, perform before the game, and there are major sporting events and there are tiny sporting events, but you've got to have a Star Spangled Banner. You need that national anthem in your back pocket because it will get you gigs. And they'll prominently display your name on the big jumbotron or whatever they call it. And that's great publicity because 40, 50, 60,000 people, who knows how many are out there seeing you. And occasionally it makes it on a cable television as well. And then you get all of those people watching. Which brings me to the next one, cable television, radio. You gotta get out there into the media, into the public. Yeah, maybe it's some little podunk show on channel 457 that nobody watches, but somebody watches it. And any performance can lead to a gig. Moreover, morning shows are an excellent place for acapella groups to show up because you can sing one of the latest hits on the radio, you can change the lyrics a little bit, make it comedic. Those kind of morning DJs love that kind of energy in the studio. And unlike any other kind of musical ensemble, you can literally just walk into their tiny little booth and just start performing at the drop of a hat. They don't get to have that kind of loud music on the air very often. And you may find yourself getting a really good relationship with one of these DJs and finding yourself back on the radio over and over again, once a month, once every couple weeks, especially if you're able to put some real personality and charm into your performances, be it comedic or otherwise. All right, by this point, it's probably time for you to start booking your own gigs. You're gonna have a following, you're gonna have hopefully a lot of people on Facebook, maybe an email list if people even do that anymore. And now it's time for you to book a club date. It's probably gonna be a Monday night or a Tuesday night, but you wanna find a place, a stage, where they'll let you have it, and you can bring your own people in there and they'll take the bar tab. You can make some bucks at the door. And more importantly, you've got a gig. You've got something that says, this is our show. Eventually those gigs will grow. It's not gonna be a ton of money up front, but it is an opportunity for you to have a real place to perform. And moreover, people can come see you and then get more excited about hiring you for private parties and events and things like that, where there it can be real money. All right, once you've done all this, it's probably the fall. And by fall time, it is time to really start hammering those school gigs. NACA, National Association of Campus Activities. A large percentage of the colleges out there book their gigs through this organization. Get a local or regional showcase or the big national one if you can. Many an acapella group have launched themselves nationally through this organization and, and, and gotten many gigs. You can go in there and you walk out with a dozen gigs, walk out with 50 gigs. And while we're on schools, high schools, middle schools, They've got a budget to bring in artists. If you can go perform some songs for the student body, work with the choir, do a workshop, have an educational component to what you do, you will absolutely get these gigs. And they give you an opportunity to perform 
at a time you'd have no other gigs, a Tuesday morning, a Wednesday afternoon, so long as your group's not working full-time, or even if you are working full-time, if you can take a little time away and go perform in one of these schools, there is money there, particularly in the private schools. Any school that you and the other members of your group have studied at, have a relationship with the music director, know from, from choral festivals, etc., etc., there are definitely gigs to be had there. All right, now, if you've done all this, you are off to the races. You've got gigs, you got money coming in. How do you take it to the next level? You need some kind of recording. So you gotta go in the studio or record yourself live and mix that down to be really good quality. But two, you need some video where you guys are performing. Acapella is not just the sound. People need to see you perform. Still, people have trouble believing that beatboxing is, is real and all these instrumental sounds are coming from people's mouths. And, and video is the number one way that groups are getting popular online right now. Look at Pentatonix, look at all the groups in the sing-off. Video and, and a visual representation of acapella is hugely important to what we do. And then beyond that, you need some quotes. Go ahead and grab quotes from anybody you know. Some celebrities in the audience, somebody's introducing you. Get the manager of the baseball team who liked you after you performed the national anthem there. Whoever, whatever, wherever, grab those quotes and start throwing them up on a website. Throw them up on your Facebook. And don't think that every quote has to be amazing. Uh, long story short, House Jacks performed the national anthem at a big anthem competition, and one of the guys hearing his voice beatboxing coming through the amplification uh, happened to swear on the microphone in front of all the kids and their parents and their and their moms, and it, it, it was awkward. So then the writer in the paper said, Huey Lewis meets Boys to Men meets Manhattan Transfer meets the unemployment line. We were crestfallen, but our agent at the time said, hey, just take off that last part. Huey Lewis meets Boys to Men meets Manhattan Transfer. Done. Amazing quote. San Francisco Chronicle. That was in our press kit for like five years. Anyway, any publicity is good publicity, and there's a way to spin it to your advantage. And then if you've got somebody who really believes in you, maybe it's a sister, a brother, a friend, a college roommate, and they love you, that's the place to find an agent. That's the place to find a manager. Eventually, once you're huge, you might get signed by the William Morris Agency or something, but before that, the people who love the group and believe in the group are the ones who are gonna do the best job of promoting you. You need to trust and rely upon the people who really believe in you in the beginning. Those are the people who will help take you to the next level. You can't necessarily do it entirely internally. Anyway, I hope this video helps you take your acapella group from zero to 60 or whatever number you wanna to go to. Got any questions? Post them below, I'll reply as soon as possible, and uh, I'll see you out there on the road. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -ba -da.